Stephanie Green Living here and I'm just here to show you um, something that I learned in a planner's meetup that I went to um, last week in Columbia and it was a class taught by Nancy and she has a Instagram page and she has a Periscope page and it's Tweety Pie Collage and she's really amazing and th this was a class that she taught on making your own in Verma. And I am just so excited to share with you what I learned in her class. And I'm really happy because you guys know that I have such a small budget um, to craft with or really to do anything with. And so it really helps to know that I can make my own stuff myself. So she took an old book and she let us cut up pages. And then she had a whole box of stamps and we were able to use some of her stamps and stuff. And I figured, well, since I'm already here and the stamps are here, even though I had some of my own stamps and even though I had some of my own um, stamps, I decided to use hers while I was there because when I leave, I can't have access to hers anymore, but I can always have access to mine. So we took the book and, um, which is just the little blank, you guys know what a book page looks like. And we stamped, so you're going to need some ink and whatever stamps you want to use. And we stamped our images onto the paper. And then when I came home, I just went ahead and cut out these. So this is a mason jar stamp. And this was just a really, really pretty um, flower stamp. And I just thought it looked so amazing. And I'm just going to quickly show you a few more. Here's two more. And then here's a page full of this one. And I played around with the leaves. And then here are some butterflies. So what I'm gonna do in this video, oh, and I went ahead and um, this was one of my punches. And it's just the um, tag punch. And I just went ahead and outlined it one in a Sharpie. Cause all the other ones had black and this one was so um, plain. And so that brought me to my next thing. I just wanted to also point out that you can use um, different color inks you don't have to use black black was just what was available and like I said I wanted to use what was available because I knew I could always come home and have access to mine um, while I'm showing you what I'm doing with this I really want to give a big thank you to um, D D paperworks most of my stamps were sent from her and I'm so forever grateful I entered the contest um, from Crafty Lori that she has every Monday and it's uh, granting wishes let the wishing begin and my wish was for shabby chic embellishment and for some stamps it didn't matter used new it didn't matter which kind she sent me because at the time I didn't have any <laughs> or I had very few and she was gracious enough to send me a lot and I'm forever grateful and she sent me a really beautiful card so over um, at DD Paperworks, I am so thankful for you granting my wish again. I'm so thankful and so grateful. So I'm going to see if I can just slide one more on here. And I think it might be pushing it. So I don't think that I'm going to put that one because it will be pushing it. But I could always do it here. All right. So while I was talking, I just went ahead. Oh, and I like how the butterflies inside. So I. I was talking, I just went ahead and showed you what it would look like if I used a different color. And as you can see, it's still nice. So I am done with this video. I just wanted to show you what DIY embellishment or embellishments look like on your own um, with punches and using a book. You can have it black and white, you can have it in color. And here is what you get. You can use any stamps of your choice, any inks of your choice, and any punches of your choice. Check me out in my next video because I'm going to show you how I did it with watercolor. Okay, thanks for watching. Until next time, blessings.